everyone. Good day, everyone. My name is uh, Akolabi, and today we are having physics once more, and we will continue our study of lenses that we started in the previous uh, videos. If you have not watched the previous videos, you can still go and download them and watch it, and catch up from where we are starting from. So, as a review, we uh, told you that we have two types. So, we have the, the convex lens, which is also the converging uh, lens. We have the concave lens, which is the diverging lens. Why? Because every ray of light that is parallel to the principal axis for this one okay, converges to a point, while this one diverges uh, away from another point. While the focal lens for the convex lens is always positive, okay? while the focal lens for the concave lens is always negative. Now, this is just uh, synonymous with what we had under mirrors. Okay, if you go and check the previous videos we did on mirrors, you'll notice that the focal lens for concave mirror. Remember in the last video I told you that the convex lens behave like the concave mirror. Okay, the focal lens for the convex mirror, for the con con concave mirror, is, the, is all the same thing with focal lens for the convex lens. Both of them are always positive, and that is why I said RIP. The meaning of RIP there means real is what? Positive. That is for the convex lens. But for the concave lens, which behaves like the convex mirror, the focal lens is always negative, and we said virtual is negative. So in any case, if you are dealing with concave lens, we always take the focal lens F to be negative, and you take the focal lens of a convex lens, you take it to be positive. And of course, don't forget that the focal lens can always be obtained from the radius of curvature. Remember, the focal lens from the radius of curvature is what? Radius of curvature over 2. That's the focal lens. I believe you still remember this formula from the uh, equation of uh, circle, okay? The focal lens, if you are not giving the focal lens, you are giving the radius of curvature, all you need to do is to divide by 2 to get the focal lens. Another thing that is very, very important is the concept of magnification M. You remember magnification that we talked about in mirror. It's also the same thing as the magnification in lenses. It is always the ratio of the image to the object. It will be the image distance to the object distance or the image height to the object height. Okay, so you can either use the distance or the height of the images and the object to calculate the magnification of the lens. Another thing that's very, very important is the lens formula. Okay, you can see that it looks just like the mirror formula in the case of the mirror formula. The lens formula is 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. But one thing you should take note is that this formula only takes what? Distances. This formula will not take height. So the u and the v you have there are simply distances from the, from the lens. So this formula cannot be 1 over object height or 1 over image height. It only takes distance. But the magnification can take height and distance. Now another point we need to note before we go into calculations involved in lenses is that all virtual images are always red. I mentioned this before when we're dealing with uh, mirrors, that all virtual images are always red. And they are negative, they always take negative value for the image distance. Why? Because the distance, the image is always, when it comes to virtual image, the image is always in front of the lens. The image is always going to be in front of the lens. What I mean is that if you have this type of lens, the convex lens, this is convex lens. Remember in the previous video I told you a convex lens will only form a virtual image when the object is in between the principal focus and the optical sensor. If I have my object here, then at the end of the day, I'm going to get a virtual image which is erect and enlarged. This is the image. So you can see that this is erect and this is what? Virtual. So the distance of this image from the lens will be taken as negative V. And that's what I was trying to say here. That anytime we are dealing with a virtual image, the image is always taken as negative. But if I have other positions for the object, let's say I have the object in between 2F, which is the center of curvature, and F, of course, my image is going to be real in this case. And real images for lenses are formed on the other side of the lens. So the real image will be formed where? Will be formed here and it will be enlarged. So I said real images are always what? Inverted. But virtual images are always erect and they are taken as negative B. But when it comes to the inverted image, the distance of this image from the lens, this is the image from the lens, will be taken as positive VG. And that is what I was just trying to explain there. That anytime we are dealing with a virtual image, or it is stated that the image is erect, and we are given the image position, they will take the image position to be negative. Or rather, if we are given a real image, and we are told that it is inverted, they will take the image position to be positive. So our knowledge of what we have gained here can be used to solve the question we have here. Look at the question we have here. We are given an object placed 25 cm in front of a convex lens. So how do we tackle questions like this? You come from the lens type, 
the lens type, we have the convex. And don't forget, when we are dealing with convex lens, that simply means we are using RIP, and that means we are dealing with plus F. So that's the first step, you state the lens type. Then the next thing is to state the focal length. What's the focal length of the lens? Focal length of the lens, from the question we're giving. Of course, we're giving the radius of curvature. And don't forget, when you're giving radius of curvature, I told you the focal length is what? Half of the radius of curvature, which is F, equals to R over 2, and that's 40 over 2. And that's 20 centimeters. So they place the object at where? They place the object at 25. The object's distance, object distance, object distance view, D, is 25 centimeter. Now the same should calculate the nature of the image that is formed. If I go to get the nature of the image that is formed, that means we want to know if the image is magnified, we want to know if the image is real, or if it is virtual, or we want to know the position of the image from the lens. So all we need to use now is the lens formula. The lens formula, using the lens formula, we have 1 over F, equal to 1 over U plus 1 over B. Of course, I have my 1 over U to be here. This is 1 over 20, equal to 1 over 25, plus 1 over B. Uh, solving for the, the, the distance there of the image, you get the distance of the image to be 100 centimeter. So you can see that actually the image is magnified. Why do I think the image is magnified? Because the position of the image is at 100 centimeter. The position of the object is at 25 centimeter. What's the magnification? Magnification U by U is what? 100 over 25. That means the magnification is what? 4. So you can see that the image is what? Magnified. And apart from the fact that the image is magnified, the image is also real, and that's why we've got a positive BD. So when you are told to describe the nature of the image, the image is real, it is magnified, magnified, and what? At 100 centimeter from lens. The image is what? Real, magnified, and 100 centimeter from lens. How did you, how did you conclude this thing? The first part is that it is real. It is real because the positive B we got here, the B is positive. Then it is magnified because the magnification gave us 4, okay? Then the distance from the lens is 100 centimeter. One thing, one thing about this calculation is that you can back it up by the diagram of the, the ray diagram of the lens. Remember, for this lens, we have a lens that is having a focal length of what? The focal length of the lens given there is 20 centimeter. That simply shows that the center of curvature is 40 centimeter, okay? And the lens was, the object was placed at 25. This is the object. The object is placed between the focal length and the center of curvature. And of course, whenever we have objects here, where will the image be? The image will always be formed after C and it will be enlarged. And that is why the object was formed at 100 centimeter from the lens at the other side and it is enlarged and inverted. So being inverted simply means it is what? It is a real image and it's giving us a positive view because it's formed behind the lens. So this is giving us a clear picture that the calculation and the ray diagram are one complete set of information that you need to understand very well. Okay. More of that application is uh, this new question here, but here we are giving a concave lens. The lens type, the lens type is concave, and when it comes to concave, that means we are using VIN, VIN, and that simply means we are having minus F. As I told you here, we are having minus F. Then we are told the, the, the image, the distance of the image from the lens has been given already. Okay, the image position, image position is minus six centimeter. You ask me a question there, why minus? Because a concave lens will always form a virtual image. A concave lens will always form a virtual image, and a virtual image is always taken as what? Well, as a negative distance. Okay, and that is minus six centimeter. So we're looking for the object position. Object position is what we're looking for, UD. And we are given the focal length. The focal length has been given there to be minus 15 centimeters. Why is it minus? Because we are thinking of BIN. So take note, anytime we are talking about concave lens, if the focal length is given, the focal length will be taken as a negative. And if the image position is given, the image position will also be given as a negative. But if the image position is not given, then you don't need to take it as negative because by the time you get your answer, you always get it as negative. So going by the lens formula, I have 1 over F, 1 over U, plus 1 over B. So I have my 1 over f to be 1 over 15. That's 1 over f, 1 over 15. Okay. Minus 1 over 15 equal to minus 1 over 6. Okay. Plus 1 over b. Plus 1 over. Sorry. I'm looking for the u. That's 1 over u minus 1 over 6. That's putting the value of the f and the b. So I'll check this to the other side. I have minus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 6 equal to 1 over u. If you take your LC and here. And easily get your. 
with your U by taking 1 over 6 to the other side and your U will be fine the same, that's 90 and you get your U to be 10 centimeters. So you can see at the end of the day, your object position will never be negative. Object position is always taken as positive, but at times you can get the image position to be negative and at times you can also get the focal lens to be negative depending on the type of lens you have. Remember, if you have any question on this video, you know how to get back to us. Thank you.